மதிப்பிற கூறியா எல்லா சாது சன்னியாசி அவர்களே இவிட உள்ள அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் நான் இவ்விழாவில் பங்கேற்பதில் மிக மகிழ்ச்சி அழைக்கிறேன் நதிகளே வலிப்புவது பாரதம் முழுவதும் உள்ளது சில நதிகளை நாங்கள் தினமும் பிரார்த்தனா செய்கிறோம் இத ஒன்றும் புதிதல்ல இத பாரத்தில் பழங்கால முதல பாரம்பரியம் நண்பர்களே தமிழ ஒரு மிகவும் பழைய பழமையான மொழி அழகான மொழி மிகவும் சக்தி வாய்ந்த மொழி தமிழ் மக்கள் போலே தமிழ் பேசுவேன் என்பது எனது விருப்பமாகும் ஒரு நாள் நான் அது போல தமிழ் பேசுவேனும் அதுவரே நான் ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசுவேன் we are here to worship our holy river palar when we worship the river we see bharat because in bharat all parts of bharat all parts even the remote tribal areas people worship rivers this is our sanatan kalachara this is our sanatana adhyatma in since my childhood i was told to say a prayer even when we take bath when we take bath we invoke the rivers of this country and the prayer that goes is ganga cha yamune chaiva godavari saraswati narmada sindhu kaveri jale asmin samnidhim kuru from sindhu in ladakh northernmost to kaveri in tamil nadu we pray the waters all the rivers to be present this is this is bharat rivers are givers of life i could make out what pujya sakti amma ji was telling about rivers how it sustains it gives and sustain life in bharat we have a tradition a culture since the vedic period to worship all the panchabhuta that make the entire creation prithvi jala vayu agni aakash we worship all as gods and goddesses 
for us these are not material things these are divine and so river is divine about rivers even ancient tamil literature tamil says there were over long long thousands of years ago he said near indru amayat udaga if water there is life in shilpadikaram ilangu vadigal says a good king a good king is one who preserves the rain water in ponds and tanks to enrich the soil and in that tradition in our country our prime minister has launched a program called amrit sarovar this amrit sarovar is catch the rain every district every district of bharat will have 75 at least at least 75 sarovars amrit sarovars not a smaller than 1 acre it must have the minimum capacity of 10000 cubic meter now the work has already started and by august 15 2023 we will complete it this 50000 amrit sarovars in the country is in line with what ilango vadigal says that a good king must have catch the rain make the pond and lakes to enrich the land our world is facing a major crisis global crisis climate crisis is the leading crisis we see off and on disasters happening a pralay like pralay like situation is emerging there are many countries island countries in the world which are now fearing they will be submerged in the next 30 to 40 theology that believes that man is at the center of creation and the rest of creation is for the pleasure of man that is the root of all the crisis that the world is facing today and in this situation very grim very serious situation the world is looking up to bharat looking up to bharat for guidance for leadership and bharat is showing the way we all know that a principal reason for the climate crisis is excessive emission of carbon in atmosphere carbon because of our energy needs we burn coal we burn oil petrol diesel kerosene to get energy and it is reckless and now the temperature of uh, the climate the earth is rising ice caps are melting glaciers are disappearing human greed massive deforestation 
all these are creating havoc our country is showing the way bharat is showing the way in 2016 prime minister launched a program a scheme which is very very sanatan scheme i mean a scheme for energy where do we go we go to sun god i mean you there is no nobody can give as much energy as surya bhagwan sun god can give without any cost no limit there is no exhaustion that resource will be over so prime minister launched a program to have more and more solar energy clean energy not using coal reduce our dependence on coal reduce our dependence on oil look towards cleaner energy premier energy is solar then wind energy vayu one of the panchabhuta go to them and they give you the answer in 2016 when our country launched the solar alliance international solar alliance there were many countries in the world were very skeptical they were very very doubtful today almost 100 countries have joined they are all coming in 2016 we had set a target that by 2025 bharat will produce 100 gigawatt of clean energy non carbon energy and look at the purusharth of this country we reached this target september 2021 four years before the target we have already crossed 100 gigawatt more than half of it is solar energy now we have set another target of 500 gigawatt by 2030 and i am sure our country will achieve it before time we are move we are showing the way to the world how to save the planet how to save mother earth how to maintain the balance in the climate by our is old sanatana padyati system of living in balance for us for bharat earth is not a resource earth is our mother and you do not treat your mother as a resource you worship it that is our identity this is how we are defined you know in fact this tradition came several thousand years ago people have different estimates of time but by a conservative estimate people say that the, by and large experts they agree that rig vedic period is 6500 years before the common era that is 8500 years ago at least and at that point of time our rishis our munis they discovered the fundamental truth of one creator and unity of creation creation with so much of diversity humans 
plant, animal. With all these diversities, there is, they are integrally connected because divine is present in every being. And then having said that, they also added that this divine experience is subjective. People experience it variously and express it variously. That is why they said, Eko sada vipra it is all inclusive. It includes all. It doesn't leave anyone out. It includes even those who are Gnostic. Even they have a place in it. It is something which is the beauty of our Sanatan Adhyatma, Sanatan Sanskriti, Sanatan Dharma. Our country had suffered a lot during thousand years of foreign invasion and colonization. Unfortunately, even after departure of British, we did not pay much attention on this spirituality of Bharat. Bharat without a spirituality is a crowd. Without Sanatan Adhyatma, it is a crowd. It is this that makes it a parivare kudumbam, a family. And this we cannot ignore. We all know that now the country is, Bharat is waking up is waking up to its destiny, destiny to be the world leader, the Vishwa Guru. It is waking up with a renewed confidence, self-confidence. The self-confidence which was destroyed by hundreds of years of foreign rule and invasion. That sense of self-pride, which was not awakened even after the British left for over six and a half decades. We, we, we have to. Bharat, rise of Bharat is for the sake of the world. Bharat is not for Bharat alone. Bharat is for the whole world. That is what in our prayer when we say Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, Ma Kashit Dukh Vag We don't say Bharatiye, we say all, all being. And that is how we say Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. It is not a political slogan. It is our Sanatana Dharma, Sanatana Adhyatma, which includes all. And we have to build the Bharat in the dream of all our rishis, in all our munis, those who had dreamt of what the Bharat should be like. A Bharat which is materially very prosperous, militarily strong, intellectually superior, technologically ahead and spiritually imbued in the faith of Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. This is the Bharat that we have to build. And now we all know that our country has entered the Amrit Kal. The next 25 years are very crucial. This next 25 years means by 2047, when the Bharat will be celebrating 100 years of its independence, by the time Bharat must be Vishwaguru, world leader. Now, in this journey, in this journey to in the next 25 years, 
our spiritual leaders have a great responsibility while the material prosperity while the science and technology while the adi bhautik buddhi based all this development will be done by the government and the samaj by the society the spiritual resurgence in that our spiritual leaders have a great role to play and here i would like to urge i would like to request all of you present here that while you have been doing a great service to humanity you have been doing a great service to the country please be conscious of our a special responsibility that this being sanatan it will go on for hundreds and hundreds of years it is indestructible it will survive whatever be the adversity but but we have a special responsibility in the next 25 years to build this country where it to take it to the destiny where it should be and for that this a spiritual resurgence has to be achieved in the next 25 years and there i am happy i was told that i just heard that now the sadhus and sanyasis are going to the villages and trying to to awaken the sense of a spirituality sanatan spirituality among the people think of ways and means how how best we can we can create that new and new ideas has to be thought of we our rishis our sanyasis our sadhus domain is not limited to temples you have to move to the society and you have to wake up the society and that's a great responsibility that you have because only then bharat will be what it is supposed to be as minus a spirituality bharat will be a poor imitation of the west it can be materially very prosperous technologically very ahead militarily very strong but if it is not a spiritually ahead a spiritually what it should be then that is not bharat you know bharat that swami vivekananda had imagined swami vivekananda had imagined that bharat what kind of bharat he had imagined bharat its muscles of iron sinews of steel and vedantic mind that is bharat and in that you have a great responsibility nadi galai padukakum punit panil ईड पट वर अने साधु गलकम सन्यासी गलकम नंरिए तेरव कॉल करें हर हर महादेव नंरी उ